Hey there, this is Vanessa Deberle, and I make videos on my channel called Learn to Earn. I give you tips and different videos that will help you launch your business or help you to build your business online. And today what I want to talk about is a how to save your email template in ClickFunnels. When you're making a funnel and you create a, an email, um, maybe to say thank you for, to somebody, we're going to keep it simple. Most people, when they start out, they're making an opt-in page and then they send their free thing and then they say thank you when that free thing gets sent to your prospect after they give you the email address you can write a little email and you know welcome them and say here i hope you got it and blah 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 well the neat thing is you can make a template of your own and i'm going to show you why this is important one of the things i noticed as i was building different funnels is i felt like i kept on putting the same things back in and i'll go over that with you right now and it was becoming kind of daunting and this is probably why many people hire other people because they don't realize that they can actually duplicate themselves i have a demo account right here and it's an opt-in page with a thank you page so very very simple I'm sending a free thing, okay? And after the person gets the free thing, I wanna automate a thank you uh, email to them or automate a th an email. So let's go up here. You wanna stay on your opt-in page, all right? You don't wanna go in and edit it. We're gonna do it from here. Go to the top where it says automation. So this email automatically gets sent to them when they get that free thing. So what am I going to trigger? I'm going to add a new email, all right, right here. And I'm going to call it, you want to put it from yourself. I've got that in there already. I'm going to put the subject, I'm just going to say demo, or actually I'm going to call it my, I'll just say demo. All right, and down here, the condition is in this particular one, is I want it to go to everyone. Everyone that gives me their email address, I want them to get this thank you, all right, or this email. I should stop saying thank you. It's just an email that I'm going to send. I like to send something to introduce myself, and then from this email, it kicks them onto my soap opera sequence. So I'm going to use this template right here, the first one. Then you're going to slide to the bottom and create an email. You have to start out with a template that's already there, and you can revise it, or you can start from scratch and do your own. Now I'm going to open up that email or that template that was already there and in here look I, I want to change the logo I, I don't want you know click funnels at the top so maybe I want to go in and put a different I'm just going to select an image this is not what I put at the top but um, just to kind of show you well here let's just put that in there Maybe I want to put something like that. We run a workshop, so there's our um, logo for the workshop. But I don't want all this stuff. See how, how much there is? So I might go in and just delete some things just to make this smaller. Now, remember, I'm making a template. I'm not really going in and um, putting my information yet. I just want a template, so every time I go in, I'll have this set up the same way. I'm going to keep the button there just in case I want to use it. Obviously, I'm not going to say you get 50% off, but see down here, I want to change out Russell's name, put my name. And down here, now I'm not going to do it today, but I want to put in a footer for me that's going to apply to me. So I want to go in and put my Facebook link. And if you click that link, double click it and see up here, to the top that's where you put your um, Facebook link so you just double click these blue icons at the bottom and I can put my Twitter link and then below that I can put my disclaimer my privacy policy um, I can I always put a link that go to my website down here you can put whatever you want and then here where it says powered by click funnels you might want to put your business name or your address so all that work that you have to do that's a lot if you think about it it might take 30 minutes every single time you do an email so what I do is I leave it like this it's just very simple I can change out my logo if I want to go in and change this to a video I can I'm gonna show you how in case you don't know um, what I always do is I leave that element there that orange and then I click the bottom it says add another element and here I can add a row I can add text an image 
a button, divider, social media links. I don't think it's letting me put a, um, yeah, you can't put a video in here because it's an email, duh. All right, so I can put any of these other things in here if I want, okay? I'm not going to. If I don't need it, I go up here and just delete it and I can just have wording. But it, at least it leaves you a little bit so that all you have to do is delete and not have to add. Now I wanna save this. I'm gonna go up here and hit save. And then I'm gonna close it. Now it's there, right? It's, it's not saved as a, as a template yet. It's just saved as the email that I can go in and edit. This is the important step. Go over here to your right. I'm not opening an editor. I'm over here. I'm going to edit the template. So open that up. This allows me to save the template. See at the bottom? So now I want to give the template a name that's going to help me remember. So I might say my funnel frenzy workshop template, or I might just say um, my initial, I might put my name there because um, Vanessa initial template, okay? Um, the condition in this particular one says everyone, and I've got it integrated with my SMTP. Everything's ready to go. Now I just save the template. I'm going to show you how to find it. It's so easy. I, I'm, I was so excited when I found this and I wanted to share it with everyone. All right, so I saved my template. And there it is off to the right. Oh, actually, this is where I give, give the template name. I apologize. Let me just put... Um, Uh, initial template. All right, I can put tags in here if I want, right? I can always come back if I want to do that later. And here it says, oh, important step, right down here where it says enable, you want to enable the template. Now I want to create the email design. So as you can see it over to the right, I am saving it. I'm creating an email design, a template. Now, how do I go back and find that? Let's go back into our funnels. All right, let's go back to where we were. And I'm gonna go back to a demo account again. Let's go into test. See, I'm going to a different one. Last time I went into demo, now I'm in one called test because I wanna show you how it, it pops up. So I'm going to go up here to automation and I want to do a thank you again. Oh, well, here we go again. I got to add an email, all this work again. Now watch what happens. I'm just going to say test. Here's my condition. I still have to do all this. Now, this is the one I used last time. Remember, let's go all the way down to the bottom. And here it is. This is the one. Use this template. I saved it, so now it becomes part of the saved templates. And you just hit template selected and then create email and watch what happens. Oh, I didn't fill out a field. I missed something up here. Oh, subject. There, boo. All right, let's go back down, select my template, create email, and there it is. Now if I open it in editor, There it is. I don't have to go in and fix it all back up. Everything I put in my footer down here is all ready to go. All I have to do is put my message. A lot of times I don't even use, I don't even use these um, pictures. Like I said, I just leave them there in case I need it. And there you go. I can change my heading. I can uh, type a quick message. I may not need the button, click it out. Click out this, just hit delete, delete message and I'm ready to go that simple. I hope this helped you. I know for me being uh, fairly new with ClickFunnels, I was spending a lot of time with that footer. I was excited that I even knew how to figure it out and I thought, okay, there's got to be an easier way. And there is a way to save sections, but in this case, your email template, if you have a certain style that you like, 
and you you know you want to have it ready to go there you go so hopefully that helped you give me a thumbs up or comment in the bo bo below if it helped you out if you have any questions uh, just let me know i hope this helped you out today